Okay, I want to talk a little bit today about this Dyna 4 transmission because I had several people asking about it and one person in particular asked me recently about it. So this Dyna 4 transmission has four gears and four ranges. It's basically to make it, uh, it's basically a 16 speed transmission is basically what it is. Um, the way it works is to shift gears you have a d-clutch button and this t-handle this t-handle works everything so to change you just go forward and backwards it's not all that complicated to do it you just push forward and back to change ranges and gears now to change the gear you hold this d-clutch button down or you can just use your foot pedal clutch to do it and you hold it in and push forward and it'll change gears just like that it went from second to third now it has four lights here. There's one, two, three, four, which is your four gears. And then it has four ranges, which is up here on this dash, A, B, C, and D. And you just pull forward and back on this T-handle just like that to get it to change the ranges. And then when you get to D and you're wanting to go into your next gear, say I'm in third now and I want to go to fourth, I just hold the D-clutch button down or push my foot pedal clutch in and I push forward and it'll go to fourth, okay? Now, say I want to go back down to third gear. You just push the button in, you pull down, and it'll go to third gear. And it'll drop back down into third. Now, if I'm rolling down the road, it'll go to 3D. But being I'm sitting still, it dropped all the way to the lowest range into A. But basically, it's a 16-speed transmission. Uh, and to change it, it's as simple. If you don't want to use this button, which takes the place basically of just pushing the clutch in, you just push up through your ranges, A, B, C, and D, and when you get ready to go into fourth gear, you just push the clutch in and push forward. There you go. You're in fourth gear now, and you just go on through your ranges. To go back down, push the clutch in, pull back, and it'll drop back down to third gear. See, so it's in third. And it'll have four different ranges. Just pull backwards, and you'll go all the way down. Uh, and then, if say I want to go to two now. Now that I'm at A, and I want to drop down to two, I push my clutch in pull backwards I'm in two you don't even have to use this d-clutch button if it scares you or something and it's there's nothing really complicated you just push forward and back to go through the transmission when you get to A or D and you're wanting to change gears to go into the next gear you just push your clutch in or hit this d-clutch button and pull back and it'll change gears now if I don't hit the d-clutch button it'll just sit there well being up here i probably have to put it in gear to get it to do it but say i'm in 2a right now and i want to go from oops, say i want to go to third gear and i'm in forward it just sit there and beep at me until i hit the d clutch button or push the clutch in to change the gear to the next gear it's it looks complicated but it's extremely simple once you sit in one and you drive it around for about five minutes and you figure it out there's nothing here that's complicated to be afraid of it's a power shift transmission made easier is basically what it is instead of having all those gears you have to change around and push forward and everything else you just have one handle that does it all and it's right there now one thing that's cool about these is, is versus the old style uh, power shift transmissions where you had to push them down when you're gearing down this transmission say i'm going down the road and i'm running 4d all the way in high gear and i want to uh, i'm coming to stop at the stop sign this transmission will automatically drop itself down to say 3a which is but would be to make it simpler for somebody to understand it'd be like going from four high to first high in a tractor It'll drop you down to that automatically, and you'll be into that once you come to a certain speed slowing down, and then you don't have to move this or nothing, and then you, when you take off, you can just start pushing up again, and you never have to worry about trying to gear it down. Another thing it, these have is a D-clutch knob, or, or, or clutch aggressiveness knob. What this knob does is it basically takes the place of you, uh, say you want to feather the clutch out. And you're trying to take off real easy and slow you can adjust this knob all the way to the negative side to make it easier when it takes off with the power shuttle like 
Well, I got parking brake on. Say I put it in reverse right now. You don't have to use your clutch with a power shuttle. It just pulls, it uh, goes into it automatically and this will set how aggressive that it'll eat. You can turn it all the way to plus five and it'll jolt you as it takes off or you can turn it to negative five and it'll just be as smooth as silk, as slow and then slowly work into the gear to take off real nice and slow and smooth riding for you on takeoff and forward and backwards. Now a power shuttle, you don't know what those, those are, you don't have to use your clutch, which is perfect for loader work. You can drop this thing and it'll back up or you put it forward and it'll take off forward and you don't have to use a clutch to work it. Now, one thing about these Dyna transmissions that's really nice, the way I think Massey has the best uh, shuttle. Now, a lot of tractors have a few things that I like about them too, but I think that they have the best design shuttle. You can pick up to declutch you pick up the clutch and that will stop the tractor. You let it down and it'll take back off. Just to prove it, see here I'm in reverse and I've got it up and I drop it down and it's taking off. I pick it back up and it stops again. And I can move it back to there. That's one thing that these have that a lot of tractors don't have. And another thing too is if you don't want to use the T-handle and that whole system over here just freaks you out, you can push this forward and just keep pushing it forward and when you get to D, or A, you just push your clutch in and it goes into the next gear. And it'll show you over here that it's in fourth. Now I'm in 4A right now. I'm gonna push down on this, just like I just did. See, it drops. It's in 3D. So that, uh, you can shift in reverse that way, which is down here, or four. And they've done a really nice job designing their forward and reverser uh, power shuttle thing here. I love these. Uh, a lot of them are real complicated. And you have it, it, you push them for, you push them forward. I keep putting the parking brake on. You push them forward, and then they go back. And I don't like that. Like uh, I think New Holland, you push here, and then to go forward, and it'll show on the screen it's in forward, and then it goes back to center, and you pull back. I don't like that. I like it when it locks in, and you can. Do it like that better. I don't know, it's a preference of mine. Um, but it's simple. Now, new stuff that they've added, this is the original design. This came out in 2008, uh, was when you first started seeing these Dyna 4 transmissions on tractors. And this is the original one. It's still just like this. When you get in these new tractors, it's still just like this as far as the T handle and the power shifter, but they've added features to it that you can get. You can get a joystick in your armrest that controls your loader and everything. It has a power reverser button on it, which means you don't have to use this. You can just sit here and hit a button and it'll do the same thing this will. And it has a lot of other options on it about changing gears and everything too. Uh, as well and those are really nice another thing that they added which is perfect for baling hay is instead of using your clutch to stop or using this power shuttle say you get tired of reaching your hand up here and having to move this thing and you're baling hay and you want to come to a stop just to dump the bale they made it now to where you can hit your brakes and it'll stop the tractor just like you were in an automatic car and you can come over here, dump your bail out, do whatever you gotta do, close your hatch, let off, and it'll take back off, just like if I was moving this forward and backwards. And uh, I've run a 5612 with, uh, with that cutting hay, and it is awesome. Uh, those, I wish this tractor had that for baling hay. Uh, that's the biggest advantage to one of those doing that. And it works good too with doing loader work as well. Um, Say you're coming up to a bale of hay to stab it in front and you're getting close and as soon as you stab it, you want to stop, you can stop, pick it up and then let out and it'll take back off. And you don't have to use a clutch. Uh, but, but it's super simple, it's that easy. It's not real complicated going forward reverse and changing the gears. You just push forward and push back. And that's, that's as far hard as it gets. Uh, once you run one of these for a few minutes, you realize there's nothing to be afraid of here. Like my grandpa, he gets in here, he's terrified of this thing. Uh, I mean, he's absolutely terrified of it. He won't drive it, has never moved it, 
won't do anything it just scares them to death all these buttons and everything but if you ever got in here and sat down and actually put it forward and run it across the yard or something and realize that all it is is just pulling this back and pushing it forward and push your clutch in and you change gears it's not that complicated but he won't do it and that's one reason why we uh, went with the 4610 back yonders over another uh, 5400 or 56 is because at that time the only option they had was Dyna 4 transmissions and that all this electronic stuff just scares them and he wanted a manual transmission and at the time the 46 was the only one in the size tractor we wanted that offered that now they've got manual transmissions power shuttles to add on to it manual shuttles which isn't a power shuttle uh, you can get Dyna 4, you can get a joystick Dyna 4, you can get VT, uh, Dyna VTs. Uh, they got multiple different options. I think they have, it's basically four different transmission options you can get. Uh, that ranges from just a regular high and low manual six speed transmission to the same style Dyna 4 as this is, to the upgraded Dyna 4 with all the nice little features they have. And then you can get the Dyna VT, which with the Dyna VT, all you do is you just pull forward and back, I believe. Uh, I ain't got to run one of those yet, but I'd like to someday. But uh, that, I, more than likely, I see everything going to the VTs because they are, it's basically like a hydrostatic tractor. You just push forward and back uh, for your speed and everything. But, uh, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. Hope it didn't confuse anybody. It is a lot to take in, but if you haven't ever been on anything like this but it's simple it's just forward and back and that's it and then you got this to put you in forward and reverse that's all there is to it uh fit and you got, still have a clutch <laughs> it's not like it's a spaceship or anything so but uh thanks for watching see you next time yep had some misfortunes had a pose uh 90 degree elbow bust so wait on dad to get here he's on on his way gonna bring me nothing that we had at the house as a spur so i guess i'll answer comments while i'm waiting